Here at the National Space Centre, we're branching out to plants, of course. Did you know that... Shh. Did you know that maize seeds, or corn as it's more commonly known, was the first biological material in space? In 1946, budding scientists wanted to observe the effects of radiation on biological material. That's 15 years before man first ventured up there. So why bother carrying out such experiments in space? The research carried out on the International Space Station provides us with some unique conditions that we cannot simulate on Earth. Such as zero gravity. We know that plants respond to gravity and light. Roots grow down away from light and shoots grow up towards it. But in space, in zero gravity conditions, do the roots still grow down? How do they know which way is up? Using centrifugal force to increase the gravitational pull on plants, we can see that the plants respond and grow in directions responding to the increased force. However, back in space, the groundbreaking studies have found that in zero gravity conditions, roots still grow down away from the light and the shoots grow up suggesting that light is the dominant driver of plant growth direction, not gravity. Another reason for carrying out such experiments on the International Space Station is not only to develop our understanding of the development and growth of plants in space, but also to help us assess the likelihood of being able to grow plants in space and further enhance our space exploration travel. Right, that's enough about space. Time to bring things back down to Earth. Plant research in space has already significantly influenced our lives here on Earth. In 1989, the NASA Clean Air Study taught us that plants have the ability to clean the air of toxins and chemicals that are detrimental to our health. Now, a lot of people realise that houseplants are good for you for health and aesthetic reasons, but very few know that the actual knowledge stems from research carried out by NASA in space. Plant-based research has influenced our own lives here on Earth, and who knows, one day, may benefit those furthering space exploration efforts and colonisation of new planets.